Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Pokemon Sword and Shield rank battle. How are you guys doing today? I know you don't have to leave it in the comments. I know I look like a bum. My hair is getting long. I have a hat on to cover this, and I have this little ugly stubble right here. But that just is what it is. I'm getting a phone call right now. You're going to have to hold off on the phone call. But we're just going to hop into this. And oh my goodness, we have, uh, what is that, Decidueye, a Blastoise, and Incineroar. That's lit. So here's what we're going to do to lead. This is going to be, oh, Incineroar is a dark type, so I can't do Grimmsnarl. So we're going to do Winsmacot Dragapult, because Dragapult can't be faked out. And if Winsmacot gets faked out, it's fine. And then we'll do Rotom. Well, I kind of want to do Rotom Heat, but at the same time, they have two water types. Ooh, Rotom Heat, like, seems so, so pretty right now, though. Let's just do, we can do Gastro in the back for their uh, Cinderace and Incineroar. Hope that they don't bring that uh, Rillaboom. And then we can do... Actually... No, no, we're good. And then I kind of do... Corviknight, does he get much off here? Not really. Well, Corviknight can beat... No, the Corviknight actually does do good here. Because he can do the... Finds good on the grass. And then Dragapult has my fire type. I mean, Dragapult has full coverage. So I'm glad I'm going to lead with him. I think this is the play here. I mean, Dragapult has Fire Blast. He has Solar Beam. Uh, what is it? Is this Shadow Ball that I have? Yeah, I have Shadow Ball and then uh, Draco. I have Draco, right? That's my dragon move, right? Is Draco? Dude, I haven't played in a while, guys. I'm playing so many different games right now. This doesn't normally happen. Normally, I stick to just one game, and that is it. And of course, I knew they're going to leave the Incineroar, because doesn't he do, like, fake out shenanigans and all that fun mumbo-jumbo? So, uh, let's see here. Let us see here. So, assuming... I mean, here's the thing. I just feel like he's obviously just going to go for the fake out here on my Windsor Macabre. I'm going to go for the tail one anyway, but my Dragon Pulse should still have speed. Yeah, Draco Meteor. And then I can just do a Shadow Ball. Because I don't want to... Do I just want to Draco now, actually? Maybe I just Draco now and swap. But who would I want to swap from? I would want to swap into... We could swap into Gastrodon, right? Because then this Inteleon can't do anything. So we'll hit the Incineroar. That's what we'll do. Is this Incineroar? I know he has like Darkest Lariat. Right? Oh, he's going for the first round uh, Dynamax play. Okay. Let's see who he Dynamaxes. Probably Incineroar. But then I know he's not fake outing if he does the Incineroar. Oh, he is going to go for the Incineroar. Okay. Okay, Mr. Incineroar, man. Let's see what you got. Let us see what you have. Jeez, Incineroar is a cool... He's a cool looking Mon. But I got that Tailwind. I got that Gucci gang on my side, and I got that Draco meteor on my side. Can I get a yurt? Is that going to do uh, not quite enough damage for me? But that's okay. That's okay. Rain Dance? He's going to do Rain Dance when he has an Incineroar? Uh, huh. He's just going to go for the Max Steel Spike to raise his defense, huh? But I live that. I have uh, Focus Sash. Here's the deal, though. Here's what I do now. Here's what I do now. Sunny day. I just sunny day with Winsmacott. He's going to go for the Steel Spike again, right? So we sunny day here. That's an easy, easy chat. And then, so what is my... Dragapult is down two on the special attack. So now I can swap to... Assuming he's going to do a water move, so now I can definitely swap into Gastrodon here because of my Storm Drain. So this will be really good. I have Storm Drain. I have Sunny Day. And uh, this should be big plays here. This should be big Kappa plays, boys. Most of going to get that Sunny Day up because of Prankster ability, which is super nice. So let's see here. Sunlight turned harsh. He went for the Hydro Cannon, but I have Storm Drain. Yerp. This is very good for me. And then what does he do? Go for another Max Steel Spike, I'm sure? Yeah, raise his defense some more. So good play there. Wins Makat's out of the play, but I did get my Tailwind and Sunny Day out of him already. So now what I need to do is I need to get rid of this Inteleon ASAP. Because he's just going to Rain Dance this next turn. And I can't have him Rain Dancing on me. So I think we just go for the Dynamax Solar Beam. I feel like that's the play. Dynamax Solar Beam, right? Because what else, you know, that will get rid of this Inteleon. Assuming he doesn't have like a Focus Sash or anything like that. And then I can do Earth Power on the Incineroar. I think this is the play right here. 
I think this is going to be the play. So we'll Dynamax, Max Overgrowth, the Inteleon. And then sure, like obviously that's going to raise their... Or give them health back too, but that's fine. And then Earth Power, this Incineroar. Get some super effective moves going. The Incineroar is obviously going to do another... Uh, what's it called? Another Max Steel Spike. But my Dragapult is a special attacker. So he's just raising his defense, which isn't affecting my... My Dragon Pole at all. Actually, I'm gonna take off this headset because literally all I hear in it is static sounds for some reason, and I don't really know why. And I'm kind of getting annoyed by it. But now I took off my hat. You can see my ugly hair. There we go. Let's put that. Let's put that back how we had it. Max overgrowth on the Inteleon. Make sure he doesn't rain dance again, because I don't have Winsmith Cod anymore to fix that. Get that. Get that Inteleon out of the way. And now this was Incineroar's last turn of Dynamax. So who does he go on the Max Steel Spike? Because I have a Salt Vest on Dragapult. Plus he's Dynamax. And then Gastrodon is just a beef, beefy boy. So who does he bring in here? I'm getting another phone call right now. You're going to have to hold off on that. I'm really, I really do apologize. I'll call you back after this match is done. I promise I will. So Incineroar has three de defense up. And geez, Earth Power still did that. Oh, no. Special attack. Earth Power special attack. I'm dumb. So now we can just, I mean, I'm just going to go for the Earth Power on the Incineroar. I'm not even going to do a Dynamax move on him. We'll just hit whoever his next Mon is who's going to get the Dynamax sauce. Who's it going to be? Decide why I Fire Blast. Ha! <laughs> Easy reach. Oh, I even have a, a Ghost. I even have a Max, whatever, Phantasm. So I kind of want to go for the Fire Blast, though, because obviously there's a sunny day up. So this is Easy Money in the chat. Yeah, Max Phantasm. What does this do, though? Is this... So this lowers their defense. I don't even care about that, so I'm definitely not going to go for the Phantasm. And then we Earth Power, the Incineroar here. This is going to be an easy, easy win, dude. I mean... I don't know. I mean, obviously, this guy looks like his team is just like a fun team. What was it? Like, all starters? Right? So, I mean, this is just an easy... Decidueye lived? Dude, Decidueye is a beefy boy. I mean, he's going down here to this. Jeez, dude, Decidueye survived a sunny day max flare from my special attacking Dragapult. That is literally insane. That is absolutely insanity to me right now. Unfortunately, Gastrodon goes last, so he wasn't able to stop this Incineroar from dark, Darkest Lariating me. But that is, is what it is. That's just how life's got to be sometimes. So what do we got? We're, we're two for two right now, but this Decidueye is a weak boy. Now, unfortunately, this Decidueye is going to hurt my... My Gastrodon really bad, but thankfully I have my boy Corviknight on the field. So, let's see. Did he bring Rillaboom? Because if he brought Rillaboom, I might be in trouble. If he brought Blastoise, I'm good. Pyrobutt. Okay, Cinderace. Oh, actually, Cinderace kind of hurts too. Because uh, he could hurt my Corviknight. So, what we do here, I would say... Cinderace, I'm sure, is a physical attacker, right? So, I kind of just want to bulk up. Oh, but I even have Sunny Day up for him. That didn't work out in my favor. Two more rounds of sunny day. I feel like we just go for the bulk up here. No, because we have to take out the Decidueye. Otherwise, my Gastrodon goes down. And then we go for the recover on Gastrodon, assuming he's going to go for a grass move on the Gastro. I think this is the play. We just got to read that he's going to hit Flare Bits on the Corviknight. Okay, we're fine there. Corviknight's beefy. Dude, I don't understand how the Cinderace one hit KOs my Corviknight, but. My Dragapult can't one-hit KO a Decidueye. That is nuts. And he one-hit KO'd me with that? We're doing a second game. We're doing a second game. I'll be back. That was nuts. That's not even cool. I'll be back. Last, last match was kind of annoying. We lost, but we are A-OK. -okay. Let's see here. So he's got a Scraggy or Scrappy or whatever that can do Fake Out. Um, I kind of want to bring my Grimmsnarl now against this team. Although, uh, Grimmsnarl is going to get... Because I can't Thunder Wave the Scraggy because he's dark. The Sylveon is going to be super effective on me. And then I think the Sableye is also super effective on me. I'm not 100% sure on that one. So, maybe not. Maybe I bring Winsmakot to lead. of Energy Ball and Tailwind. Dude, that Sunny Day on that last one really helped out that guy a lot. And then I can do Rotom. I can do I can bring Rotom. Rotom does pretty good here. Dragapult and then probably Corviknight. Does Corviknight lose to anything on the team? I mean Charizard. We have Gastrodon. Gastrodon's gonna lose that Leafeon though. Heavy. Heavily's gonna lose that Leafeon. I say we just bring the Gastrodon anyway and just hope that we can take out the Leafeon with our Rotom or our Dragapult. 
Edgar, hey Bob. No distractions. Hey, lay down. I know, I know. There's no distraction right now, okay? I gotta play a match. Daddy's gotta play a match, Edgar Pants. Edgar Pants, you wanna be in the video? I don't think you're gonna make it in the video like that. Maybe one day when you're older, you can be in the video. Mr. Edgar Pants. Alright, so let's see here what they lead with. Charizard and Sableye. See, what is... Sableye, I feel like, does something. Like, I feel like Sableye is some kind of setup mod, but I'm not 100% sure what it would do. So we're gonna tail one, and then I would trick trick the Charizard here, but I feel like this Charizard is gonna Dynamax turn one. So what I'm gonna do is Volt Switch the Charizard, and then I can switch to Gastrodon, or Dragapult is the play, I feel like. I feel like this is the play here. Edgar, are you being good? He is being good now. He found a 20, he's gonna play with that. I feel like this is the play, the Volt Switch, the Rotom, because I wanna trick something, but... I just feel like this Charizard is going to Dynamax. I feel like this Sableye is going to set up some weird thing that I don't know about. Like, does it know Sunny Day, maybe? Like, what does Sableye do? So the Charizard is Dynamaxing, so I'm glad I didn't trick him, because that would have been a waste. What does Charizard do here? Let's see. Or what does Sableye do, rather? Not what does Charizard do. So he's going to fake out on... Wins Macaw, that's a little bit annoying. I hate that my Wins Macaw doesn't go first, but it just is what it is. Got my Volt Switch, so now I'm going to swap over to Gastrodon, who's going to take this like a champion. He's going to take this hit from Charizard like a champ. Right? Edgar's is having a good time with this ball. Unfortunately, though, I don't want him to accidentally miss the ball and get my feet. So that's going to kill my Winsome Macaw, which is really, really annoying. Because he doubled up to my Winsome Macaw, so now I don't have a freaking Tailwind at all. That's really annoying. And he has this Wildfire bullcrap. G-Max is annoying as crap sometimes. So, here's what we do. Go to Rotom. No, because I don't want... I can't trick the Charizard. And what do I... Like, what would this... What does this Sableye be holding? What could he be holding? The thing is, my Dragapult is Assault Vested, though, which is nice. And I could just... But I kind of just want to... I kind of just want to go to Rotom and Dynamax him. But the thing is, I don't know if this Charger is going to... This Charger should not outspeed me, right? There's no way. I mean, my Rotom is Choice Scarf, which actually I think doesn't even take effect when you're... Um... When you're Dynamaxed, I think I think this is the play. I think I should outspeed, and then I can just max Lightning the Charizard, right? And then I can just... Uh, I don't want to Skull. I don't want to double up. I guess I just go... I don't want to Scald because the Sunny Day. I guess I just Earth Power into the Sableye. I just... The thing is, I don't know what the Sableye does. And I'm going to Dynamax... Another reason I'm going to Dynamax turn one here on Rotom is so I'm not locked into this Choice Scarf yet. So I still have an opportunity to trick something if I need to. Especially if I can figure out what the Sableye's held item is. Which, obviously, I'm sure there's, like, a common held item. Like, a meta held item that he should be holding. But I don't know. I don't know that. So. Only 250. Poor Rotom, dude. He does not have that much HP. Max Guard. Okay, really lame of you. I'm glad I didn't double up into that slot, though. Um, I wonder if this Wildfire is going to hit the Rotom because he's not in here. Oh, he's going to knock me off. Wow. And he knocks off my Choice Scarf. Wow, I didn't know that it would still get the item even when you're, like, in Dynamax form. So that's, like, rather annoying, but it is what it is, I reckon. So now, so my, that Choice Scarf doesn't really matter. I should still go first before this Charizard, and then I guess I go for, Earth Power's not going to be doing anything, so I guess I'm just going to go for the Recover. Just to uh, keep Gastrodon alive. Assuming he's going to get hit by the Sableye, maybe a knockoff from the Sableye. I just want to keep this Gastrodon alive. I want to keep him here, living life. Because, I mean, if he knocks off my item, my Gastrodon's item is, like, whatever the, like, the Iron Ball or whatever that just makes his speed cut in half to make sure he goes last. That's all, like, that's all my, um, my Gastrodon's holding for Trick. It's mainly for Trick Room teams, obviously. I just want to make sure he goes first into Trick Room. I get the knockout, which is really nice. Unfortunately, he did burn two of my Dynamax turns, though, instead of just one. Which is just A-OK. -okay. And then let's see what we can do here. So Charizard's down. Let's see. I'm sure Sableye's going to go for the knockoff on my Gastrodon. 
And then I just get the recovery on Gastrodon to keep his health up. So yeah, knock off on the Gastro. He's gonna get take away the Iron Ball, but I recover here. So we're big chilling. So now the chart, their Dynamax is out of play, which is nice. And I'm gonna get a free Dynamax move here, which I really, really like. Now here's what I don't know. If I trick and I don't even have an item, do I just take their item away from them? Because that does, I feel like it's gonna say it failed. I don't know. This is something I should definitely know, but I don't. So let's see. Communicating, communicating, communicating. He's got to think. What do I have in the back? What do I have in the back is what he's thinking. What is going on back there? Is there a Dragapult in the back? Or is there a Corviknight in the back? Or is there a Grimstar in the back? You don't know. I'm glad I didn't bring Grimstar right here. So let's see here. This kind of want to get rid of the Sylveon now. Here's the thing. That is 130. That is 140. So I definitely want to go for the Max Flare because I have Sunny Day up. I want to get rid of the Sylveon because I'm sure he's going to have like a Throat Spray. And I don't want to deal with that. And then I don't want to double up though in case he does protect. Actually, does Sylveon even like, is he even going to bother with protect? I'm going to double up. I feel like he's, I feel like he's going to go for like Hyper Voice or whatever and get his Throat Spray activated. He freaking protected to burn my last turn of Dynamax. Man, that's annoying. Please, that does nothing. Wow, that was an annoying play. That was so annoying. Wait, I thought I had Sunny Day already up. But I don't. Wow. Wow, I made a huge mistake. That was a huge mistake of a play. The stupid G-Max Wildfire is still going too. I thought Sunny Day was already going. I mean, geez louise. So what do we do here now? We have to get rid of the Sylveon. We have to. We got to double up into it again. I mean, we got to get rid of this thing because I need my Dragapult to feel safe and at home. He's going to use Quash. What does that do? Make me go last? Yeah, my move is postponed to go last. That is very annoying. We, oh, we live in. Thank you that we are living there. Okay, Earth Power into the Sylveon slot. Not any damage at all, but this Thunderbolt should do some good damage. Jeez, what? Please paralyze. Oh, my. Wow. So, I feel like we just switched into Dragon Pole here for this qu uh, Quash or whatever. Because he went for Hyper Voice, right? He's just going to go for Hyper Voice again, so then I won't even be affected by it. So, we do that. And then the Gastronaut's probably going to go down. And the off chance he doesn't go down, I'll go for the Recover. Ah, oh, man, the Sableye has proven to be very, very annoying. Like, what did he do? He did Fake Out, he had Knock Off, and he had Quash. Ah, oh, very annoying. Hyper Voice. Hyper Voice still hits Dragapult? Oh, he has the freaking Pixelate ability. I didn't even think of that. Uh, or whatever the ability is where it makes all his moves in the Fairy, or normal moves all in the Fairy. Man, guys, I really choked. I really, really choked today. Like, hardcore choked today. I mean, yeah. I really screwed up. Really badly. 80 plus 1.5 will do 120. And solar, ooh, solar Beam does 120. So they're the same. I'll just go for the Shadow Ball, I guess. Man, I really, really, really messed up today. Hardcore. Edgar, you being Have? I don't want you messing with anything. He's just going to go for the quick attack here on Dragapult, of course. I mean, good play there. I lost both games today in today's video. That is that is infuriating for sure. Unless somehow I can paralyze at least. No, no paralyzes either. No, no luck with terrains. He had the easy reads on the Dynamax play. I mean, what am I going to do? Guys, I feel like I digressed pretty hard. I mean... I know I say it all the time that I don't play that much, but I just don't. I mean, this is the first time in a long time where I'm actually playing, like, multiple different games because I'm just really enjoying a bunch of different games. But that just is what it is. Thank you guys for stopping by today's video. Uh, the gym leader stuff should be um, – the Phantom Michael should be posting a video today about that, which is what I'm really looking forward to. I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I'll see you later.